hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so uh, we will continue our discussion with uh, the basic concepts related to physical layer of network model so far we have discussed various basic concepts related to signal signal characteristics about analog and digital signals the various concepts related to analog and digital signals about composite signals also we have discussed so in this video we are going to combine two of uh, such concepts into one and try to explain one in terms of the other so this video is about visualization of a digital signal or 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 the representation of a, a digital signal as a composite analog signal okay now why it is important we will get to know about that in the upcoming videos where we'll see its application but today it's just these combining these two concepts okay first is what is a composite signal let us just have a quick recap of that a composite signal as the name suggests it consists of multiple simple sinusoidal signals of different peak amplitude values different frequency time period etc so the decomposition of a composite signal is done uh, with the help of various uh, tools uh, be it fourier analysis or anything so we can decompose it into multiple simple sinusoidal signals of different amplitude frequency and phase so a composite signal looks something like this this is a very simple composite signal because you see this composite signal it consists of three simple sinusoidal signals first one is this 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 is one big sinusoidal signal then the two peaks at the two ends they can be one sinusoidal signal with peak and crest values like this then this middle peak this one this can also be treated as another simple sinusoidal signal so if we decompose this composite signal into its individual sine signals it will be something like this this one is the big sinusoidal signal okay this big one then this is the two peaks at the two ends that is represented using this sinusoidal signal and this middle peak with the smallest amplitude the least amplitude that is this this one so each of these is represented by their peak amplitude and frequency let's say here with this uh, big sinusoidal signal the largest one with the largest peak amplitude it has a frequency let's say f so here the these two peaks they have frequency with their peak amplitude it has frequency 3f see 1 2 3 okay this is one second uh sorry uh by the time it completes one complete oscillation this sinusoidal signal it completes three oscillations complete oscillations okay in one second then this smaller sinusoidal signal it completes nine oscillations nine complete oscillations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay nine complete oscillations so f 3f 9f it is relative okay if the frequency of this big one is f then it will be three times of that it will be nine times of that okay and if we try to represent it in frequency domain this is in time domain amplitude versus time plot in frequency domain the only thing that is important is their peak amplitudes and the frequencies so here this big sinusoidal signal it has a peak amplitude c sorry i have not uh, written it i forgot to mention it here this is a, this has an amplitude c this sinusoidal signal with frequency 3f it has an amplitude b and the small sinusoidal signal with frequency 9f it has an amplitude a 
okay a b c a b c peak amplitude frequency which is here mentioned f3 f9 so this is the frequency domain representation where amplitude and frequency are plotted in the two axes now digital signal let us discuss a uh, quick way in what is this the so digital signals are converted from you know we get that from analog signal through the process of sampling quantization and encoding so they are defined at in between specific durations from one point to another between distinct points and they have fixed values fixed voltage levels defined which are predefined and uh, mostly uh, in data communication the 2 bit format is used 0 and 1 because data is transmitted as series of zeros and ones 0 defined by a certain voltage level 1 defined by another voltage level so digital signal looks something like this so now here the question is how we can represent this digital signal as a composite uh, analog composite signal okay so let us consider this uh digital signal okay we have two pulse signals positive and negative uh amplitude now let us draw a sine wave which you know just over this digital signal we do a sinusoidal signal now here this sinusoidal signal is not an exact approximation of this digital signal why because there are various portions that are missing that are neglected see here this portion and this portion this portion and this portion it is not covered by the sinusoidal signal and also this region the peaks they are also extra the amplitude this amplitude is not there in the digital signal okay now if we try to add more sine waves and create a composite signal like this this is a composite signal with three simple sinusoidal signals first one is this big sinusoidal signal then these two peaks that will constitute another sinusoidal signal then this middle peak so again it can be decomposed into the individual sinusoidal signals like this it will have, have different frequencies of course so again this composite signal is you know it gives a better approximation of this digital signal as compared to this okay see this composite signal is better as compared to this simple sinusoidal signal which consists only of one sine wave here when we add more of such sine signals with different peak values we get a better approximation of this digital signal so what we are trying to do here is to represent this digital signal in terms of a composite analog composite signal and uh, we are trying to represent it decompose it into its individual sign signals okay why it is required it will we will see that in future so the here the objective is to have a composite sinusoidal signal which approximates this digital signal to do it the best of its ability okay so that we can get a good approximate of the digital signal in terms of the composite signal now suppose we add more sinusoidal signals okay see here we added more peaks this is one peak these two you no know, negative peaks okay these two that will constitute another sinusoidal signal these two peaks positive peaks this one and this one that will constitute another sinusoidal signal this negative peak in the middle that will constitute another sinusoidal signal so a total of 1 2 3 and 4 sinusoidal signals are here now this this composite signal this red composite signal the red portion the red 
figure that gives us a better approximation of this digital signal as compared to this and this see because more positive and negative peaks are added that is more sinusoidal signal components are added see this is very much similar to this digital signal of course there are certain positive and negative peaks there but it gives more or less a better approximation of this digital signal it is covering the digital signal in a better way now suppose we add more uh, sign components see here this we have added more sign components one these two peaks positive peaks at the two extreme that will constitute one sign signal this negative peaks to this one and this one that will constitute another sign signal again these two positive peaks that will constitute another sign signal these two peaks uh, negative peaks will constitute another sign signal and this positive peak in the middle will constitute another sign signal so 1 2 3 4 and 5 five sign sig components are present here so this gives us a better approximation as compared to this this and this so the more components individual sign components get added to the uh, to the composite signal the better the approximation of the digital signal so it will have a frequency domain representation like this so where the more sign components get added the more discrete frequencies get added up in this frequency domain and it will have the respective amplitudes so this is a frequency domain representation of a digital periodic signal in terms of the composite analog signal like we did here for this we did the frequency domain representation like this so similarly when we represent a digital signal in terms of the composite analog signal we will also get a similar frequency domain representation okay so here we have discussed uh, some of the basic concepts related to frequency uh, the uh, representation of a digital signal in terms of a composite signal okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much